Mitt Romney repeatedly dodged questions on whether he would repeal President Obama's decision to stop deporting some younger illegal immigrants and frame the president's announcement as a purely political move. How will this immigration debate play out with Hispanic voters in November? Let's bring in our all-star Monday panel, Politico's Lo Lois Romano, Maria Teresa Kumar, a voter Latino, and David Avila of Go Pack. Join us now. Guys, I want to start out with this uh, first Romney non-answer on whether or not he would repeal this order by the Obama administration. Let's play what he said yesterday. Well, it would be overtaken by events, if you will, by virtue of my putting in place a long-term solution with, with legislation which creates law that relates to these individuals such that they know what their, their set, setting is going to be, but not, just, not just, not just the, for the term of a president, but on a permanent basis. David Avella, I'll go to you first. I asked Senator Johnson from Wisconsin on the program earlier if he would support or repeal this order. He wouldn't answer the question. Mitt Romney seems not to be able to answer the question. Why can't Republicans answer the question about whether or not they would support repealing this order today? Well, part of the problem is, is it gives false hope to these 800,000 new immigrants that are now going to be here in the U.S. that there's going to be jobs for them. And this president hasn't been able to create jobs. One. Two, it is bad policy. It is bad policy because there is no guarantee it, that it's going to be long term. So a new president could come in and change this policy. And so it's almost no hope for young immigrants and bad policy. And what Governor Romney has said is, is that he wants to work with Congress on a long-term solution. And certainly you have people like Marco Rubio, you have Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson, you have people like John Kyle, all who have said, let's work on this right. together. Right, the will and is gotten, there eventually, but it, no one will stand. They say we don't like the policy, but they're not calling for its immediate repeal. Well, it, it's not a long-term solution. And, and so that it's working right now. What we're advocating is a long-term solution okay. to this problem. Maria? I mean, in all fairness, the, uh, the president has tried a long-term solution. The DREAM Act was actually voted down, unfortunately, in the Senate. And it was both Democrats and Republicans who voted it down, in all fairness, right. by five, five votes. Short of him not being able to act unilaterally, he is providing a two-year reprieve. He's not guaranteeing them jobs. He's saying, you know what, we're going to actually allow you to come out of the shadows and provide you with the ability to actually walk, walk the streets safely without being prosecuted. And I think that's for a lot, for, uh, persecuted. And for a lot of young people who, for every, inter, every piece of their body, they actually feel American, this actually creates a national conversation of what the merits are of the DREAM Act. And it actually forces Congress' hands to ensure that they actually do pass it. There's not going to be a president now that's going to say, you know, we're going to repeal 800,000 young people who believe themselves to be American. So he's put it forward. And Lois, I mean, immigration was not at the forefront of the political discussion over the last month. And now, obviously, it's leading the week here after this election. Pretty smart tactical move by Chicago, which had been dog with three weeks of, 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 of being viewed at as just performing terribly. Well, they needed to look decisive on something, mm -hmm. um, and th that's what they chose to do it on. They needed to take the initiative, because as you say, they're being criticized across the board. I think it was a very smart calculation on their part. Um, I think the reason that Romney's not responding is because um, it's another political cal calculation. They need to secure their base, and they know it's a very hot-button issue, just like Obama did it, because he was trying to secure his base. And it might not, in the end, it might not matter to Romney at this point. I don't know that he can get the Latinos back in his camp, so they might be just thinking, let's just play this out and let Obama go ahead and take it. Interesting to do that. Uh, I want to play a, a, a little sound from Bill Kristol about Mitt Romney on this issue of immigration. This is a big problem for Romney, and he needs to take the lead on this. In, in my view, embrace Marco Rubio's Dream Act if that's what he wants to say. Let's pass this in Congress over the next two months. This is what I'm for. So I'll throw this out there. Why not call up Speaker Boehner and say, hey, let's get this Rubio Dream Act. Let's pass it there. And Mitt Romney can go out on the campaign stuff and say, I was working with Congress from the campaign trail and trying to get something substantive done. Well, it still has to pass through both houses of Congress. Mm -hmm. And uh, Harry Reid has... Uh, been a problem uh, on getting good legislation passed, legislation that comes out of the House. He'd so do immigration he reform tomorrow. <laughs> well, well you, you'd like to think that. You'd like to think that. A bipartisan right. yeah, immigration yeah, reform bill would happen it. tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it, and Harry Reid won 9 to 10 the Latino vote in the last uh, election, and that's right. actually what made sure that he continued his leadership in, exactly. in the Senate. So I think he, Reid is not the problem. I think it's the Tea Party congressional members right now in Congress that are going to be the biggest Certainly obstacle. Certainly a lot of interesting divides in Congress about everyone. <laughs> went to the floor. Thank you. We'll be right back. We'll do a little health care with our panel.